hi there did you know that if certain materials are put in a magnetic field they can prevent other materials from getting attracted to the same magnetic field this is Z online school and in this video we'll be looking at magnetic permeability by the end of this video you should be able to know what magnetic permeability is you should be able to understand how magnetic permeability is used in magnetic screening and at the end of this video we've got a bonus tip so stay around or watch till the end so that you know what we have for you in this video magnetic permeability is just simply the ability of a material which is magnetic to cause magnetic field to pass through it when it is placed in an external magnetic field to illustrate this think about this magnet on our left side which is not moving and another one on our right which is not moving let's say one was n and one was s meaning one is north and the other is south which means there's an attraction force between these two magnets however like i said these magnets are not allowed to move maybe they are glued to a tabletop or they are held with some silo tape or anything that's preventing these magnets to attach to themselves what happens is we will have a magnetic field between these two magnets this field may not be seen however the forces may, may be experienced so because of magnetic permeability if we got a material that is a very good magnetic material and we put it in between this place what happens is that the magnetic field lines will prefer to pass through this material which is magnetic than the surrounding area that's what magnetic permeability simply is when you go into the details of magnetic permeability which is not so required under the ACZ syllabus you'll find more calculations about permeability calculations involving you to find absolute permeability and relative permeability so don't worry about that just be able to explain this concept that we have just explained in this video now there are two things you need to note under magnetic permeability the first is that the greater the strength of the magnet that is being used the greater the permeability that a magnetic material might be able to show the second is that the further the magnet is put from a magnetic material the less likely permeability will take place if that magnetic material wasn't put exactly in between these two magnets meaning it was put much far away from the magnetic field lines you won't see any magnetic permeability because that magnetic material is not in that external magnetic field it's outside the external magnetic field with that said and done now let's look at magnetic screening magnetic screening is very related to magnetic permeability why do i say so just look at the definition Magnetic screening is the use of materials that are highly permeable. You see there's the word permeability that we just looked at earlier to prevent magnetic field from passing through a certain region. So in magnetic screening, they're just making use of the property of magnetic materials, which is magnetic permeability to prevent some areas having magnetic fields. Usually, this will be used in electric circuits or electric devices you know some devices don't need these magnetic field lines to pass through them or else they might cause some short circuits there's direct relationship between magnetic field and electric field so magnetic screening might be needed in some appliances let's get to understand how basically this magnetic screening might look like if we have two magnets again which are stationary one being north and the other being south we want these magnets to have a force of attraction in between them so what happens is if we put a particular material which is very highly permeable through the principles of magnetic permeability we know that the field lines are going to pass through this magnetic material instead of the area or the region surrounding it therefore certain areas exactly like the area marked x in this diagram won't have any magnetic field lines passing through them therefore there will be no 
magnetic force in the region X. Therefore, the magnetic fields have been screened or sometimes this will be referred to as magnetic shielding. Basically, it's just preventing the field which is magnetic from passing through a certain region. In this specific diagram, there is no magnetic field in the region marked X. So there's been magnetic screening done or simply magnetic shielding. You should also note two points under magnetic screening. The first is that the greater the thickness of that magnetic material which is used in screening, the greater the effect of the screening. When you increase that thickness, automatically there will be more field lines which will be caused to pass through that magnetic material. Therefore, the effect of screening will be even more effective. The second point is that the lesser the magnetic strength of the magnets involved, the lesser need of screening. If you don't have a very strong magnet, there's really no need to bring a lot of magnetic material to screen magnetic field. If you've got small magnetic strength, even those magnetic materials that don't have a very good magnetic permeability can be used. So not these two points under magnetic screening and under magnetic permeability. They are very helpful. In today's bonus tip, we'll be looking at magnetic keepers. Magnetic keepers are soft iron bars placed at the ends of magnets to avoid self-demagnetization of magnets. This principle of using magnetic keepers comes from partially the principle of magnetic permeability. Magnetic keepers are very essential in storing magnets. If a magnet is not stored using magnetic keepers or if magnets are not stored using magnetic keepers, the probability that that magnet or those magnets will lose their magnetic properties is very high. In this illustration, that we're going to just do in a second. What we're going to see is how magnetic keepers are put onto two magnets. When we get one magnet, we put a wooden bar in between the first magnet and the second magnet. As you can see, the poles are put in an alternate manner. For the first magnet, it's north-south, while for the second one, it's south-north. Remember that the magnetic keepers are iron bars. So if we bring one like this, there will be induction in this iron bar. Therefore, this induction will cause the magnetism to last longer in these two magnets. As you can see, the induction acts between two different magnets and not only just one. Therefore, there will be magnetic screening and magnetic permeability at the same time. If other materials that are also magnetic were to be put near this magnetic keeper, the probability that it will attract those magnetic materials will be lessened. Only maybe materials that have got a very high magnetic permeability might be attracted to these keepers. Therefore, these magnets are prevented from losing their magnetic strength. However, you should note that two keepers are put on two magnets when being stored one on the left as you can see and one on the right. You might be asked about how magnets are stored. Just remember we talked about magnetic keepers in one of our bonus tip sections. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Make sure to find time to visit any science laboratory and see how magnetic keepers are used.